The nationalization of the Iranian oil industry Persian, Mali Shardin Sound Enf was a movement in the Iranian parliament Majlis to nationalize Iran's oil industry. The legislation was passed on March 15, 1951 and was verified by the Majlis on March 17, 1951. The legislation led to the nationalization of the Anglo-Persian Oil Company AIOC. The movement was led by Mohammad Mozada, a member of the Majlis for the National Front and future Prime Minister of Iran. The movement to nationalize the oil industry was the reaction to the following concessions made by Iran to foreign powers, the Reuter Concession of 1872, preceding letter, Darcy Concession, the 1933 agreement between the Iranian government and AIOC, and the gas Golsherain contract. According to the political scientist Mark J. Gasairovsky, the oil nationalization movement had two major consequences, the establishment of a democratic government and the pursuit of Iranian national sovereignty. <laughs> <laughs> Background From the time of the discovery of oil in Iran, foreign powers used force and exploited the weakness of the Iranian state to coerce it into concessions which allowed foreign companies to control oil extraction. The nationalization of the oil industry was the response to these foreign interventions. Particularly the following concessions Reuter Concession Preceding letter Darcy Concession 1933 Agreement Gas Golsherain, contact the competition to gain more control of the Iranian oil industry increased during World War II when the United Kingdom, the Soviet Union and the United States all became involved in Iranian affairs. When faced with demands from the oil companies of these three countries, the Iranian government announced that the issue would be decided after the war as the economic conditions of the countries were not clear. The government refused all these demands after the war ended. Rahimian, full name, the member from Kukin in the 14th Majlis, was the first who introduced a plan to nationalize the oil industry. However, this plan was never discussed. On October 23, 1949, at home of Mohammad Mosaddegh and in the presence of 12 experts, who the National Front political party was established. It consisted of various political efforts whose joint objective was the protection of the rights of Iranian oil industry. Topic. Movement Mosada, the 16th of June 1882 to the 5th of March 1967, was an Iranian politician and the leader of the movement to nationalize Iran's oil industry. He was educated in Europe, and joined politics after the Iranian Constitutional Revolution of 1905 to 1907. He held multiple posts such as Member of Parliament, Governor of the Fars Province, Finance Minister, Foreign Minister, and Prime Minister. In the election of the 14th Majlis in 1943, he was elected member for Tehran. Before gaining recognition as the leader of the national oil movement, he played a large role in the Trans-Iranian Railway Project and the reorganization of the courts and the Justice Department. <laughs> <laughs> Event The 16th Majlis consisted of some members from National Front such as Mosada. In November 1950, the rejection of the oil supplemental agreement was offered from Oil Committee of Majlis which was chaired by Mosada. The Prime Minister at the time, Haj Ali Razmara, opposed the measure. On March 7, 1951, Razmara was murdered by Khalil Tarmasabi, a member of Fadiyan e Islam. After the death of Razmara, the Majlis began the process of nationalizing the Iranian oil industry. On March 15, 1951, legislation to nationalize the oil industry was passed by the Majlis with a majority of votes. On March 17, the Majlis verified the nationalization of Iran oil industry and the AIOC was nationalized. Topic: <laughs> Aftermath In April, Mosada was selected as Prime Minister by Shah Mohammad Reza Pahlavi under immense pressure from the Majlis. In the aftermath of March 1951, the economic crisis worsened and Iranian oil was not bought by other countries. The Abadan refinery, at the time one of the largest oil refineries in the world, was closed. The nationalization of the Iranian oil industry continued even through strong opposition from the United States and the United Kingdom. In the first year of the nationalization, the only foreign sale of Iranian oil were 300 barrels to an Italian merchant ship. Foreign oil companies prevented any impacts of the Iranian withdrawal from being felt by consumer countries by increasing output elsewhere. 
Oil production was expanded by BP and Aramco in Saudi Arabia, Kuwait and Iraq. Oil production in the Middle East increased by around 10% annually in 1951, 1952 and 1953. The loss of oil exports had bad effect on the Iranian economy. With oil production decreasing from 242 million barrels in 1950 to 10.6 million barrels in 1952, in August 1953, the government of Mosaddegh was overthrown by a military coup d'état orchestrated by the United States Central Intelligence Agency and the British Secret Intelligence Service. Mosaddegh was sentenced to three years in prison and then kept under house arrest until his death in 1967. After the coup, the Iranian oil crisis ended and the AIOC did not succeed to stop production. The National Iranian Oil Company as an international consortium was founded and the AIOC was made a member. With the nationalization of the oil industry, British and American political influence continued for years after coup. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> See also Energy in Iran Muhammad Ali Keshavat Sada Ministry of Petroleum of Iran National Iranian Oil Company National Iranian Oil Refining and Distribution Company National Iranian Petrochemical Company National Iranian Gas Company Suez Crisis <laughs>